Hello everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome back to Diabolic Lovers Haunted Dark Bridal. So today we're going to get through Maniac 7 and 8, but before we do that, don't forget to support the translators on Tumblr. Here they are. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much to say for this intro. Uh, let's just jump into it, shall we? With Maniac number 7, woohoo! What do you have in store for us today, Shu? Probably not much of anything, knowing you. <laughs> and Oh no, never mind! Hello, torture chamber. <laughs> I stand corrected. Oh, what a strange room. Oh, Huey has not been here yet in this route. That's right. That was Lido that liked to take us here. Shu, why are we here? Why'd you bring me here? Oh no. Shu, are you here? God, if I don't call him, he wouldn't even come to he wouldn't he wouldn't even come to have dinner. Why are you hanging out in here? Ah, there you are. Shoot, what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing in here? Hold it. What's that? Ugh. Oh, on top of being large, this bull-shaped figure seems kind of mysterious. Huh? Huh? I don't know. Are- Is- Is there a mechanical riding bull in this room? <laughs> I'm so confused. What do you mean bull-shaped figure? Do you have a mechanical bull? I'm so confused. You don't know how to ride one of those bulls. I don't either. I don't think that's how those work. <laughs> I don't think you would tease someone with those. You just get on and hope to God you don't fall off. Uh, at this side, there's some... There's some... Soot? And burn marks. It's... Mistype. There was a... Uh, typo in the translations, so I got confused. Why don't you light a fire here? On the bull? <laughs> this is definitely not a mechanical bull, but I'm just rolling with it. Why do you lighten the bull on fire? I don't even want to imagine how you would torture someone with this. <laughs> oh, Shu doesn't like fire. I think that's the case, most likely. Uh-oh. Shu? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on from the bowl. What? I won't sit on such a thing. It's covered in spikes, can't you tell? Ow! Is it a spiky chair? I, I look, I think it's pretty obvious how it works. If there's spikes all over it. I think you sit on it, and you get poked, and you go, ouch! But like I said, I don't want to. We're not gonna find out, because I'm not doing it. Don't look forward to it too much. Don't look at me with those eyes. Yeah! <laughs> What are you doing? This is dangerous. Eh? Huh? And iron coffin? Oh, an iron maiden is what? What is this? Oh man, I love that band. Take, okay, uh, take a look. Yep. Ugh. Oh. The underside of the lid is covered in thorns. Thorns? I, I, I would have expected you to say needles, not like thorns from a plant, but whatever. If you're, if you're to be closed up... I can't read today, guys. If you're to be locked up in there the moment the lid closes... Yeah, baby! Rock on! The band rules! <laughs> I would definitely not want to die like that. Maybe you're right. You think so? I think we're better off without torturing, though. 
あんた自分たちが俺たちよりも進化した存在だって言いたいわけ<笑> Look, I didn't say that at all. I'm just saying torture? Probably better off without it. <laughs> That's not true or everyone's equal. That's not true. That's not true. I suppose humankind has slowly come to suppress their instinct of feeling joy from hurting others. God does not wish for men to inflict pain upon each other af on each other either, after all. Fantasies? I'm just. <clears throat> yes? Yeah! He pushed me back. This is. I'm inside that coffin from earlier. Oh god. C cut it out! Shoot! Don't close the lid. No! I. I'll get killed. It stopped? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Why? Why is he laughing? How come this isn't too much of a hassle for you, pushing me inside Iron Maidens? Thank you? Gosh. I don't want to talk to you. Of course! You tried to kill me! You took his jokes too far, no matter how you look at it. If I had actually gotten hurt or died, would he have laughed in the same way? Jeez, I don't even want to look at his face right now. I'm running off! Yui's pissed! Whether he was simply teasing me or actually being serious, per usual, I can't get to the core of him. However, I feel if the pleased expression Shu showed while looking at my twist look at looking at my face twisted in fear was definitely genuine. Even someone who fails to show interest in anything but music still enjoys torture and blood, I suppose. No, it might not just be his nature as a vampire, but solely a problem with his personality. Either way, I failed to rid my I failed to rid my ears from the sound of Shu's happy sneering. Finding myself unable to fall asleep. Oh man, I can't sleep now. Thanks a lot, Shu. Okay, uh, sneering is one of them. And pleased expression. Uh, it's, uh... It's, uh, it's, it's, uh is it this one? It, it's this one. Neat! I got tortured. Sort of. I still want to know what that first thing was. That definitely wasn't a mechanical bull. <laughs> Alright, let's... Go ahead with number eight. Where are we this time? Preferably not the torture chamber. <laughs> or that one prison. I don't want to go there either. Oh, thank God it's the kitchen. Um, next up, I should get started on the preparations for the sauce. Cooking is fun once in a while. However, it's a late night meal, so I should be mindful of the portion. I have to prepare the hot water to peel the tomatoes. Um, a pot, a pot. Oi. Hi. Yeah. Gosh. Shoo, please don't scare me like that. What, nothing to say for yourself? Do you need anything? I'm in the middle of cooking right now. Hmm. It it's not stupid for humans, we have to eat. I'm not high and mighty. Besides, it isn't stupid. Eating proper meals is not only important to me, but it is fun as well. Though I suppose you guys might not understand that. Uh, I live with you! I'm not a stalker! <laughs> We've been living together, so I've learned that much by now. <laughs> Sometimes I think you and I share a brain cell. <laughs> I went through hell at the torture chamber the other day, so I should try and be a little more assertive with him. A tomato based pasta sauce. Um. Is that. I'm eating sauce for dinner? Please tell me you're making noodles as well, <laughs> Yui. I'm just eating a tomato based pasta sauce for dinner. Mmm, yum. Sauce. <laughs> you can have any of the tomatoes. I'll be using them for the sauce. Kitch. 
stingy, you say. I'm making this for myself. Besides, you don't have to eat, do you? Then why bother? Whatever. Sir, uh, humans have to eat! <laughs> Rude. God, there's so much I want to say. I shouldn't just keep it to myself, right? Don't give him any or make him beg. I'm not giving you any. You get none. You can't. I'm definitely not giving you any. If you want to get technical about it, yes. But not until you suck my blood. So I have to eat these first. Why does it work like that? Besides, I'm not having my blood sucked because I like it. What? Don't make it sound so suggestive. Either way, no is no, so why don't you go listen to some music in your own room? Uh, like I said, the tomatoes are off limit. If they're bad, then don't eat them. Wait till my sauce is done. We'll have a sauce dinner party. Woo! Who needs noodles? Not us. No, I'm going to boil the tomatoes next, so please get out of the way. Uh oh. She doesn't like fire! Hey, what are you doing? What's the matter? As soon as I turned on the stove, he immediately turned it off again. Eh? What? Shoo, what are you doing all of a sudden? Oh! Well then. Ah! Well, that's because my lips aren't human food. My lips are delicious? Can't you guys survive as long as you have. <laughs> Hold on, can we back up a few steps here? Yui, you're not phased by this, are you? You're really not phased by him kissing you at all. And granted, yeah, he has kissed you a few times, but still, no reaction. Okay. So, you call kisses delicious. To be fair, you guys justify nothing to me. Plaything, but that's. Uh oh. There goes my heart. What's this awakening? Again, whenever my heart beats loudly, I feel so strange. What's wrong with me? I have no idea what you're talking about. You haven't explained the awakening to me. There's no way for me to know. That's an odd standard, but okay. Jeez. What was that just now? My heart. Do I have some sort of disease after all? Cordelia disease. Bitch disease. <laughs> Could it be this awakening Chu mentioned? Is somehow related to my heart? His overly arrogant and hasty actions, you should just become my plaything while I found myself enraptured by his heart, words and forceful kiss, I even failed, to realize the truth behind it's realized the truth concealed behind the hidden meaning of those words, of those actions. I can't read today, guys. <laughs> oh, why did he get in my way of turning on the stove? There seems to be a special reason behind it. Furthermore, the term awakening falling from his lips sounds, sounded very profound, as if it had some sort of hidden meaning behind it. Right now, I don't see myself getting to the bottom of it. When, when will Shu finally tell me, I wonder? 
Beats me. Vampires. <laughs> these vampires don't like to tell you much. Okay, stove. And tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me something I don't know. Something I don't know. And what I don't know is what an awakening is, so please tell me. That was my song. Did you like it? I can't sing. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so weirdly enough, Maniac 7 and 8 were surprisingly not extremely long this time. So that's new. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna end the episode there anyway, just to keep keep things consistent because then it'll it'll get all screwy with the way I do episodes so <laughs> we're just gonna continue with just seven and eight and next time we will get in to maniac number nine ten and the epilogue and we'll already be done with maniac what the heck guys I feel like shoes route is flying by does anyone else feel like that is it just me I don't know maybe it's just me and it feels just like Lido's to you but I it feel, seriously feels like we've been flying through shoes route and I don't know why because if anything I'm posting the same amount, if not kind of less than normal, because I've been struggling to find times to record lately, just... I, I don't live alone, so I have to record when I am alone, and during the summer that <laughs> happens less than normal. But I'm trying to keep things as consistent as possible for you guys. Anyway, I'll shut up now. <laughs> I... I don't know why I, I'm just rambling on talking to you guys about all this stuff. I don't get to see people as often, you know? We're still not fully out of the pandemic yet, so I I get on here and I, apparently I don't want to shut up. <laughs> Let's start a podcast where I just ramble about the things that are going on in my life, which is, I don't know, simping over anime men. <laughs> that's all that's going on in my life. Ugh. Okay, see, I, I'm rambling again. Anyway, I'll shut up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!